What's up, my beautiful people? My name is V Latrice, also known as V Divine, and I am a motivational speaker, also a life coach. This channel is about helping others gain a better perspective so that we can heal and move on to living our best lives. And we all know what life that is, and that is kingdom. So with that being said, today's video topic is what happens in the spiritual world when you sleep with someone. Okay, so when you sleep with someone, what is in what you are involving is your spirit, your soul, and your emotions. Okay? Um when we sleep with someone, what we are involving is your spirit, your soul, and also your emotions. During this time, there what can be exchanged is good soul ties and bad soul ties. You actually become a unit. You become one in the flesh. That's why it is very important to make sure that the person that you are sleeping with is someone who you, in fact, will want to take on spiritual ties because um, a lot of things come with that, like generational curses. Um, if you sleep with someone who has a family of generational curses, you have now gained those curses. Uh, you have now gained those curses also. Um, you can you get you can gain good energies and bad energies. Um, sleeping someone is in fact a vibrational energy. So we want to be very careful when we are doing this. You know the saying, I'm pretty sure you heard it. Um, if you sleep with someone, say you've never slept with someone, but you sleep with someone and they've slept with 10 people. You have now taken on those 10 people and their emotional ties, their curses, good and bad, because you can also pick up good habits. The The purpose of sleeping with someone is to mate. You're exchanging energies and when, when we do this, it should be with someone who we do want to, in fact, spend our life with. Or at least um, those are the intentions. Or at least those are the intentions. Not only share bodies, you share whatever comes with that person, whether it's good or bad. By no means am I here to convict anyone. I am simply just the messenger. Okay? We're taking on attitudes, emotions, behaviors. All of these things are needed to be taken into consideration when sleeping with someone. Okay? Now, in this video, not only do I want to go over... Um, the spiritual ties or what happens in the spiritual world when sleeping with someone. I want to go over how you can go about breaking those spiritual ties because that's what would need to happen. You would need to break the spiritual tie so you can move on if you have moved on from that person to living your best life. You can, um, you can move on from a relationship and being that you haven't broken those spiritual ties, you're taking on spiritual ties and bonds from that previous relationship to your new relationship. So we don't want to do that, okay? What I want to do is I want to go over how we can go about breaking those spiritual ties. And that is through prayer. Heavenly Father, I humbly come to you as you sit on the throne in heaven. I ask that you forgive me of my sins. I know, break, and sever every single ungodly tie between myself and that is when you insert the person's name. As a result of fornication, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My name is V. Latrice, also known as V. Divine. I am a motivational speaker. I am also a life coach. If you feel as if you would like life coaching from me, go ahead and click the link in the description area and set up a time and a day and i look forward to speaking with you um other than that go ahead and like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and hit that notifications button so that you can